We are on the air. A wonderful good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's great seeing you. It's great knowing that you're out there. Thank you very much for tuning in and welcome to the Best of Boats Awards 2020, broadcasted live from the Boat and Fun Fairgrounds in Berlin, Germany. Now, my name is Thomas Armann, and as every year, I'm feeling extremely privileged and very happy to be your host tonight. Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, due to the current situation, things are a bit different this year. The Boat and Fun Fair is taking a short break in 2020. But nevertheless, the Bob Award is taking place from a distance, but we are on. And uh, due to the circumstances also, we may be reaching even more people and fans of the awards tonight. And therefore, I'm also very happy to welcome all those of you who are watching us for the very first time. Now, another huge welcome also goes out to the 21 representatives of the nominated shipyards who are watching us right now. Welcome on board, guys, and of course, we're all looking forward to seeing you in just about a few minutes throughout the show. And the last huge welcome also goes out to the 17 Bob Award jury members from Europe, all across Europe, I have to say, and of course, from Russia and the United States. And uh, even though we couldn't meet up here in Berlin tonight, as we did in previous years, believe me, guys, it feels good to know that you're out there. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet the Bob jury. Ciao, this is Giacomo Giulietti from Grosseto, Italy. Привет. I'm Anton Cherkasov Nisman from St. Petersburg, Russia. Dobry wieczór. Witajcie dziewczęta i chłopcy. This is Arek Reis from Poland. Hello, goedenavond. This is Alfred Boer, Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Servus und guten Abend aus Österreich. I'm Bernd Hofstetter from the Ocean 7 Yacht Magazine in Austria. Moi kaikille. Terveisiä Suomesta. My name is Jan Sjölund. I am the Best of Boats Awards jury member from Helsinki, Finland. Hi everybody, dobry wieczór. This is Stanislav Iwinski from Warsaw, Poland. Hi, I'm Kerstin Silmer, editor of Float and juror of the Best of Boats Award. Dobry dan, this is Julia Mishniewicz from Koper, Slovenia. Good evening, I'm Zuzana Prokaska from Orange County, California. Pozdrav iz Hrvatske. My name is Kronos Lomichic and I'm a juror of the Best of Boats Award from Burza Nautica, Croatian nautical magazine and website. Hello, this is Gerasimos Zerolimatos from Greece for Best of Boats Awards 2020. Hello, my name is Neil Byatt, I'm the editor of Motorboat Owner magazine and I'm the Best of Boats jury member for the United Kingdom. Hello, I'm Enrique Kur from Maris magazine I represented the Bobs in Spain from Barcelona. Hi, I'm Truls Lüge from Denmark. That is the Bob jury, ladies and gentlemen. And even though you guys are far away, it feels so good to see you again. And I know what? Next year, in 2021, we are going to see each other here again in Berlin. Now, for now, I would also like to introduce you to our two studio guests today. And first of all, that's the founder of the Bob Award, and that is uh, Stefan Gerhardt. It's good to see you. How are you doing, Stefan? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very unusual situation, but we do it. Excited? Oh, no, no, no. We do that all the well, all the time. Pretty much every day. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit like being on a starship here, just yeah. with us three guys here. That's that's a funny situation. Yeah, yeah and right next to you, that's Daniel Barkowski. He's the director of the Boat and Fun Fair in Berlin. Now, Daniel, um, let's start with the sad stuff first. Now, obviously, you guys had to cancel the show, which is very sad. We get to that in a minute. But uh, when this whole thing started, this whole pandemic madness, just about uh, six months ago in March this year, I guess we all feared that it was going to be an awful year for the boating industry. But the good news is it actually turned out to be a fairly good year, didn't it? Thomas, you're totally right. First, when it began, the marinas were closed. There was no water, uh, no boat on the water, so it was like horrible but then when the first lockdown was over people wanted to get out the marine marinas could work so the waters get into the water and you know the germans love the holidays and the spare time so they love to be there where they sit somewhere in the sun have a drink and enjoying the nature yeah and the good thing is it wasn't completely quiet because you had an in-water boat show going on and that was in september so not uh, yep. too long ago how did that go it was fantastic. Uh, the thing is, like, the show was growing anyway, so um, it felt like somewhere in the South Mediterranean Sea. And the funny part was that when the first exhibitors arrived, and they normally should set up their booths or put their boats in the jetty, so first of all, they came in, had a beer, another beer, talked, had some gossip, some new gossip, old gossip, and it was so good for us to see that people want to meet. So from that stage where I watched that, how happy the exhibitors was, to meet again, 
I know that was a great show. Mm -hmm. And so after that, everybody was happy. People came, tested boats. The Bob Furies were there, had a great time. So uh, it was the biggest thing for this year for me. Which, which is great. Yeah. And now, unfortunately, and this is promise for the very last time, uh, the sad part of this evening, um, because you had to cancel the boats and fun show. Um, due to the current situation, and uh, which was extremely sad because actually the numbers looked really promising, which means you had a ton of exhibitors. At what time did you guys decide to finally cancel? It was ex extremely disappointing. Like you work one year for one show, and so um, we had a big, excellent booking situation. Everything was fine. And then suddenly we talked to our exhibitors and we said, the boat and fun is not just a, a boat show. It's a happening. It's an event. It's like we have the gala night. You can't do a boat and fun in Berlin without a gala night. Like the funniest thing always when I have to come or love to come to the Bob Awards, the gala night was before that. I was a little bit crooked because so many drinks. So uh, this year it was like I'm with my water, so I'm pretty sober. It looks like yeah, you're sober. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's sober today, today isn't he? <laughs> so. Um, we sat with our ex uh, exhibitors together, we don't do it this year because it wouldn't be a real boat and fun. And this is yeah. the thing, we sat for us, we don't do a fair for us, we do the fair for our exhibitors of course. and our partners that they have a success. And I couldn't really promise by my heart that they would have it. Yeah. So we said, let's pause. We have a lot of things to do like social media marketing strategies. We like doing a lot now with our exhibitors in campaigns so that the journey for the leads they g generated doesn't stop and we will get i think stronger out next year we have lots th lots of things to come so everybody should be curious about what boat and fun will do otherwise we wouldn't be the boat and fun team yeah. we're standing for that and we're definitely looking forward to that thank you daniel now stefan um of course, the pandemic, the current situation did not only affect the boat and fun fair, but it also affected the sea trials that were going on over the entire year, and which are obviously necessary in order to find out which boats are best in our five categories. Now, um, how did you guys approach that then, finally? Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough start. So we basically came from full speed to zero in just two weeks. So um, as I told you um, before, we had like um, 10 test events on the agenda and then it um, turned out to be eight, six, four, up to um, down to zero in just two weeks. And, and then something very typical for, for the Bob jurors um, um, happened. That was that we um, thought about um, what are the shipyards which we know um, anyway <coughs> in our all all our countries where we yeah. are present <coughs> and we started to um, do the testing um, without the events which weren't there anymore and stick uh, we're sticking to uh, the mantra so to say um, think globally and test locally mm -hmm. now you just said that it went down to zero that means none of the larger events took place at all no, there was nothing. It was um, basically the situation which we had in, in March that um, everything which uh, we had um, planned to test was going um, to nothing. And then slowly, slowly in the summer um, we were doing um, these testaments. We were going by car um, to Italy, so like our forefathers did um, to test the boat on Lake okay. Garda and stuff like that. It was, it was a very close... Um, intense, so to say, connection, which was, yeah, also a very good experience. Yeah, and I'm sure in 10 years from now, we're going to look back and we're just going to think, wow, it was crazy, but maybe it also brought some advantages, which we don't know of yet anyway. Now, uh, Stefan, before we get to our five categories, please be so kind to also comment on the shortlist this year. What was the quality like? What were the boats like? Uh, one thing that I immediately noticed looking at the shortlist was that it's extremely international. Yeah, that was um, one effect of staying at home. Staying at home means that you look um, to the still existing borders of countries, which we had what we had to face this year, and that meant we got much more interesting um, shipyards in um, in our site than than before. So, um, not talking bad about um, um, the spectrum which we had in the last years, but it was more and. That just came um, from being so close to the shipyards. Great. All right. So then without any further ado, let's jump right into the first category, and that is best for beginners. Now, Stefan, you're actually a huge fan of beginner boards, aren't you? Yeah, I'm still a boat beginner. Yeah, 
you didn't say that. No, yeah. <laughs> but everybody knows it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. As, yeah, as you were driving the boat we together, I remember. No, um, really, um, just kidding. Um, a beginner's boat is a very interesting type of boat because it's where everything starts. So you can have a good experience or you have a bad experience. And it's all about... Sounds, yeah, sounds strange, but it's... No, it doesn't sound strange. It sounds so easy, but it is that way. It has... It's all about ease of use. It's you find the things where you need them, and it has to be safe. Mm -hmm. And this is um, what a beginner boat um, is all about. So it can be um, four meter fifty, and can be even a, um, a ten meter boat. But it has its certain qualities to be suitable. So that's a very important um, category in that award. Oh, it definitely is. Could and at this more. point, yeah. And at this point, we would also like to meet the nominees, or I should say, the representatives of the ship arts that have been nominated and they come from Germany, Portugal and Finland and I think we see them online. How are you guys doing? Great, thank you. Oh great, we can even hear you. Everyone oh. in a good mood? <laughs> Absolutely. Perfect. I, I kind of like your backgrounds. I can't really see whom is who because it's very far away, the monitor that I'm looking at, but uh, I can see there's a couple of boats in the background. I can also see some sails. Anyway, it all looks great, and I guess you uh, you guys are feeling tensed? Of course. Perfect. That was quick and down to the point. All right, so let's have a look at uh, the finalists. In our first category, best for beginners, and right after, Jan Scholland from Finland will also let us know what the jury liked so much about the nominated boats. Here we go. <laughs> In the category Best for Beginners, we have a three finalist boats and they show just perfectly how different starter boats can be. The finalists are AS Tender 340 from Germany. A very light and innovative design with high-tech materials and a multi-purpose functionality. ROM 28 from Portu Portugal. A super yacht kind customizing possibilities and distinctive style in, the, in a compact size. A perfect entry to luxurious day boating. Saxto 200 Sport from Finland. It's filling the gap between a personal watercraft and a, pi and a boat, Saxto has a clever details, very soft riding hull with sparkling performance and great looks. When attracting new people into the boating, it is always important to make excellent first impression. And these boats know exactly how to do it. Thank you very much, Jan. All the best to Finland, and I hope that you are doing great. Now, Stefan, this is your turn. Who made the race in this first category, which is best for beginners? I know, I know, I know. I tell you now. So the winner of the Best of Boats Award in the category Best for Beginners 2020 is Sextor 200 Sport. Woo! Woo -woo -woo! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, and uh, the CEO of Sexter Yacht is Ludwig Lilliquist. Uh, you seem surprised. You didn't seem to uh, calculate with making the race <laughs> of this first category. Uh, no, no, absolutely not. I'm, I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Um, I mean, given that this is our, uh, our first year uh, on the market, we were already very, very uh, happy for the nomination alone, obviously, comes without saying. And now, uh, well, at this point, um, I would love to have my team around me and, and hopefully some, some sparkling as well. Unfortunately, we are all around Europe um, at the moment, but I hope that everybody's watching. I know they are, uh, and this is truly amazing. Yeah, um, well, actually, actually Ludwig, um, you just mentioned that you've been around only for a year, but you came with a very experienced crew, which obviously is a good thing. Now, is this your first award? I hope so. 
Uh, it's absolutely the first award. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Oof, well, yeah. Got it. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. <laughs> So yeah. Okay, good. Now, okay. There's a bit of a delay. That's why you know we kind of sometimes interrupt. Anyway, Ludwig, um, there's. I have just one last question for you. Now, in your own words, if you had to sell this boat to me, let's say I was an absolute beginner, which I'm obviously not, Stefan. No, um, he is now, not. <laughs> okay, why would you? Why do you think this would be the first choice for me as someone who is just starting and taking his first steps on the water? Well, I think uh, Jan put it uh, very well in, in his words. Uh, I mean, the, the whole point was to combine uh, the fun part of the jet ski, a water scooter, which of course is a very easy to, to uh, run device or, or watercraft with the elements and the usability of, of a small motorboat. So with this super easy driving hull and, and its characteristic, not to talk about all the options, I think it's just a, a fantastic product to start your, your uh, days of the sea with. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Ludwig. Thank you very much for joining. And once again, congratulations to Sexter and the entire Sexter team. It was great having you. Thank you, Emilian. Have a very good evening. Thank you so much. Stefan, do you still remember your first time on a boat? Maybe your first parking maneuver? Yeah, I remember as we were going out and I said to the guy who owned the boat, um, can you bring me out of the, uh, can you bring me back to the harbor? Getting out was not that uh, difficult, but getting in was an intense um, experience. And a little bit later, I realized that a very experienced representative of boating industry with a very well-known, well, I don't, we don't have to talk about this now, but these guys, they were, um, um, trying to get um, into in, into the booth again, and that didn't work out. And I was counting 12, 11, uh, 12, 14, 20 times back and forth. And I thought, well, if these, if the, let's say the cram uh, of the cram um, in, in boating industry <laughs> has <laughs> problems like this, I have a few years. But this is um, some years ago. Okay, I I, I, I still remember. I still I kind remember. Of remember yeah. Where you're, you're a boat tester today, so it should be. What about you, Daniel? Always a pleasure to have a boat. But I, I have to admit to the sack store. I saw that one first time in at the boat show in in, uh, in Friedrichshafen. Okay. And I really quite like that of the look like. So um, that would be my choice for the best of beginners as well. Yeah. Um, but like my first boat, it's always somewhere in the South Mediterranean Sea. See, I'm, since I'm here in Berlin, I drive more, uh, mainly here. So yeah. um, getting back to the jetty is always sometimes hard, but um, get to it. Straight to the point. All right, so now from Best for Beginners, we're getting to our second category, and that is Best for Fishing. Now, actually, if, let's say, the boat and fun was taking place, how much space would you have reserved for as a fishing area? It's still growing, like we have uh, started with a little s square booth and now we have two and a half halls of fishing. Mm -hmm. And last year we invented our uh, fishing boat section and it's still growing. So I'm quite happy that the Bob Award have uh, a fishing, best okay. for fishing. So because it's a growing section in the boat industry mm -hmm. and people always think fishing is a little bit for old people and stuff like that, a little bit square. but. They are in Berlin, hipsters, the biggest rap stars are fishing, some soccer stars are fishing. So it's a huge market and we are pretty happy to have the ward here. Mm -hmm. And I reckon this year we had three holes. I reckon next year, three and a half. All right. So best for fishing is our second category. And I would say, well, let's meet the nominees. And those are Savan and Alexis representing Quicksilver and Bayliner. How are you guys doing? Hi. Very good, thanks. Very good. Savan, so, uh, where are you based right now? In Belgium. In Belgium. Where exactly? Uh, next to Liège. Okay, I got it. Alexis, what about you? Ah, uh, we cannot hear him. Uh, I think you are on mute, Alexis. I hope you get that fixed in just a second. But no matter what, let's have a look at the finalists first in the category Best for Fishing. And let's also hear what the jury has to say, presented by Siga Court from Spain. Let's go.
I am Enrique Kurt, the jury member of the box. Today, I announced the finalists for best for fishing. Two boats in this category. One is the Quicksilver 805 Pilot House, the new generation of cabin boats for fishing. It's big inside and big outside. The other boat is the Byliner Trophy 22 Copic Central, absolutely different, it's American style. It's, it's smaller than the other one, but arrive begin at the area for fishing. These two boats are the finalists in this edition. Muchísimas gracias, Siga, y saludos a España. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts and sharing the jury's thoughts on the second category, best for fishing. And now, Stefan, it's your turn again. I know you hey. love that part. <laughs> yeah. I love Who it, made yeah. the race in <laughs> the <laughs> second category, which is, at least in the, in the jury's opinion, uh, the best boat for fishing in 2020? I tell you, I just grab something, open the box, I can tell you who's the winner of the Best of Boats Award 2020 in the category Fishing, which is the Quick, si quick Silver 805 Pilot House. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. It's the Quick Silver 805 Pilot House, and Savant Perret is now taking over. How do you feel? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Very good news. Very honored and very happy. For this award, for sure. Great. Did, did you did you expect it? I mean, obviously the chance was 50-50. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's good to start with that because I want to, to congratulate for sure uh, the other nominee, so Beliner, the trophy, which is, by the way, okay. a colleague of mine, so, which is great. So thanks yeah. a lot. Uh, okay. As I said, super honored and super happy for this uh, great award. It, it means a lot for great. us and for the food. Great. Uh, now, Savan, let's talk about the boat yeah. for just about a second. Actually, the uh, the quick, yeah. I mean, it's a it's a boat that's not just great for fishing, but I guess getting to the fishing spot is already a ton of fun because it features 350 horsepower. Would you say it's also an extremely fun boat? Yeah, for sure, it's a fun boat. It works really good with, with the 225, but we, we 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 give the chance to to our consumer to to mount a th an engine up to 350 if if needed. If, 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 if it's uh, what they want, but it works really good with uh, 225. And for sure, we've designed the boat for fishing, but we really invested a lot of time to develop this boat to also welcome a family on board and, and make a ve very versatile boat with a cockpit that, that can be uh, turned into a very uh, a nice and uh, welcoming area for uh, for dining, the dining, for instance. Yeah. Now, Daniel and I, we just talked about Germany as being a growing market for, you know, hobby fishing. And what about Belgium? Is, is that a growing thing there, too? Is it big there? Uh, if I'm honest, I wouldn't say it's growing, but there is a market in Belgium for sure. Nothing comparable with Germany. You've got a short coast anyway. <laughs> yes, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's growing at, at, its, at its level for sure. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Well then, once again, congratulations to Quicksilver and thank you very much, Savant, for joining us today. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks to you and thanks Have a to good time. Thank you. Thank you. Stefan, are you a fishing guy at all? Oh yeah, I love fish, um, especially <laughs> when it's with a good mustard sauce. No, uh, <laughs> fishing, yeah, it should be true. I'm not a rap star and that for that, I don't know for which reason, but no, I'm not fishing. Yeah. Sorry, sorry world, I'm not fishing, <laughs> but... Um, um, I remember we had very interesting boats, and mm -hmm. we have interesting boats this year. And it's always a category where you have um, um, s very s specialized um, a type of boat and a, and, and, a, and a professional approach. So they're different um, the fishing boats. This year we had them of, of glass fiber, and the other years we had them much more uh, um, made of out of aluminum. So this is a is a complete um, world of. Or fishing boats. Yeah. But even though you may not be a fishing guy, I know that Stefan is a family guy. And this is our next category called Best for Family. What makes the perfect family boat, Stefan? Yeah, there's, uh, it's something like what I said before about the, the beginner's boat. So safety first, that's, a, that's an important thing. And then you need space. Space is absolutely important on a boat for families because you want to stay there with your loved ones for a day, overnight. A weekend or even a week or um, yeah, when it comes for the rest of the life that would be a, a travel boat then but um, 
to be able um, to have kids on board um, and they don't fall overboard. That's an important uh, thing. So you need all these amenities, um, to safety, keep safety, mm -hmm. and to keep them happy, of <coughs> course. Yeah. Okay. Well, sounds good. And I'm sure that all of the boats met those criteria. Anyway, let's meet the representatives of the finalists, shipyards, tuning in from Slovenia, from France, Italy, and also from Spain. Hopefully, desperately waiting for the results. Hello, everyone. How are you guys hey, doing? Hi. Hey, good evening. Hey, good evening. that's a lot. Okay, I can see six of them. Uh, Salvatore, I think you're just half in. Maybe you want to slide over a little bit so we can see you in total. Otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a look yeah, at the boats first. Is. Let's let's have a look at the boats on the short list in the category best for families, followed by the jury statements, and this time presented to you by Julian Visnevich from Slovenia. Mm -hmm, let's go. Mm -hmm. In the category Best for Family, we have a sixth nomination that did not make an easy ta task for jurors. Alpha Street 28 cabin from Slovenia, built in a boutique shipyard with the production of quality boats with smooth cruising performance and great comfort. Peneto Antares 11 fly from France, it's a new flagship of the Antares fleet. A balcony accessible from the cockpit area gives more space and new opportunity to enjoy a day on the water. Idea Marine 80 from Italy, a complete day cruiser with a sporty design, a large sun deck and a large cockpit. A flagship of the Italian shipyard is the perfect boat for all uses at the sea. Nuva M8 from Spain offers a unique space such as a double solarium on deck, the double powered outboard engine and perfect weight distribution is a result of incredible performance. Prestige 420 Fly from France is the entry level of the very wide Prestige Flybridge range. Open living spaces and the main deck with the very private safe spaces of the two cabins with the separate entrance is a unique feature on the 40 foot, 42 footer. The Volvo Penta IPS 400 engine delivers on its promises with exceptional sea keeping and maneuverability. Ranieri Nex 285 LX Extra luxury, space and interior give comfort on the sea, while the innovative hull promises great performance. The best for family category is a very special, as the boat is related for somebody you care and love so much. Therefore, a boat should be comfortable, safe and fully equipped for the best experience on the water. Thank you very much, Julian. It was great seeing you again, even though if you're far away. All the best to Slovenia. Now, Daniel, this is your award category. Tell us, which is the number one boat in 2020 for families? Okay, now it's my turn. It's a pleasure. Thanks, Stefan, that I'm allowed <laughs> to say who's the winner is. I have a look. And the good thing is, oh, I love that boat because I had that boat on our in-water show in Werder by Berlin. So, um, it's a Prestige 420 Fly. Um, it's a great boat. And I have to say hi. Yeah, and therefore, congratulations to Prestige. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, and here we're seeing Irvin Bams, who is the general manager of Prestige Yachts. 
Irvin, how are you doing? Very good. Good, good, good. Very the good. Will be very you seem happy. very relaxed for having won that category. Did you expect it at all? <laughs> no, and it's it's great to win an award. I'm very honored and, and uh, happy to, to win this award. And uh, even more so because it's about family boating. And that's really what we are all about at Prestige Yards. So winning this specific award validates uh, all the efforts that the team has put in designing this boat. And uh, they always say that it's complex to build a boat but it's actually much harder to to optimize a small boat like this entry level prestige uh, sometimes much harder than even a, a large vessel so they put in a great effort in in this design yeah and uh, i suppose Irvin, it's also a great late 30th anniversary gift isn't it to take home the the bob awards uh, exactly. in the category best for family we are 30 years young at, at prestige and uh uh, we're still about uh, building uh, easy to use family boats that, that luckily uh, we are now uh, selling to a global audience, a global uh, uh, group of boating enthusiasts. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Prestige 420 proved to be the fastest selling uh, Prestige ever. Wow. And I hope uh, that, uh, that a lot of people will get a chance to, to hit the water and enjoy life it was meant to be uh, um, enjoying the, the, the outdoor space and, and the seas uh, around the world. Yeah, and Irvin, I know that uh, Prestige is a huge success story. You guys have been around for three decades now, selling boats and making a lot of not only families, but people happy on the water. Now, I know you, that you're already thinking ahead, maybe of next year, maybe also of the next Bob Awards, and uh, you just launched a new boat, which is the first uh, model in the X-Line series. Now, which category do you That's think correct. that would maybe fit into? Well, for us, that's all about real estate on water. It's it's all the amenities and the comfort of a, of a home, a home away from home. Um, and we, we believe <laughs> that is the home with the best view and uh, also uh, very practical. If you don't like your neighbors, you can move around. So we believe it's it's time for people to, to really enjoy life on the water um, and not as something they do for an afternoon, but uh, uh, really spending uh, time there with, with loved ones and uh, in the, the present context I believe it's it's a great way to distance and, and, and improve your quality of life. Once again, congratulations to Prestige. Thank you very much Irvin Bans for joining us and yeah, have a beautiful afternoon and have a great year on the water. Thank you very much. Thank you from the entire team. Great. Thank you. All the best back to the Prestige team. Now, actually, Daniel, you had the 420 fly also at the Inwater event, didn't you? So you actually got to test it live. And I even had an interview on it. So okay. uh, it was fantastic. And I loved that boat. And I have to say, to I promise to the Berlin dealer, I say hi to you because I know they're sitting in front of their laptops and watching the Bob Award. So hi. <laughs> um, sorry I had to do that. Um, so it was a fantastic boat. And uh, the pity thing is, it would be on the showground as well. Mm -hmm. You could now, after the Bob Award, and have a direct view on it, but hopefully next year. Yeah. Isn't that also one of the boats you were going to test at the huge test event in France, the 420 Fly? Yeah, that was the point. So um, yeah. we thought um, we will... No, it was, uh, to start the story um, a little bit earlier, it was um, that in March, there's traditionally a big, or um, late March, um, um, test event um, for these uh, kind of brands, but that was cancelled. Then during the whole summer, everything was cancelled, so to say. And then um, a show in the south of France showed up and we thought, okay, we're going to see the boat there. But then Cannes was cancelled, or Cannes was cancelled, however. And um, But we had the opportunity to um, see the boat just right around the corner here, in near, to near Berlin. And it was <coughs> just before the Inwater Boat Show. And yeah, that was a good thing. And some of the boats which we have seen there were now on the finalists um, um, list or selection. Um, and that was a good thing. So the 420 is a boat I, I know myself, even if I'm not a jury member. Yeah. 
And the, the thing is that sometimes it may be even hard to decide which category to fit those both into because family and travel are kind of, you know, they're kind of close together. And this brings us to our next category, and that is best for travel. Now, actually, travel bones have gained more and more importance, obviously, over the past six months. Do you think this is a trend that will continue even in post-pandemic times, Stefan? Yeah, I would say so. I think there's uh, some things um, coming back, like camping um, or being on the road. Um, and other things which um, re-emerge, so to say. So I think boating is coming back because people who basically thought, well, how do I stay um, private or how can I go to holidays anyway with when it's only the family and yeah. you cannot <coughs> go to, a, let's say, a beach club or something, then a boat is a good thing. As we all know, in the boating industry, it was a, um, a boom this year. And uh, so everything from the paddle board to a uh, super yacht more or less was was sold and um, a travel boat is um, a place where you, you can enjoy uh, some weeks with your family. Yeah, and uh, before we reveal who makes the race in 2020, let's meet the representatives of the nominated boats. Now tuning in from France, Italy, Poland, and also Netherlands. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hello from the Netherlands. Hello, good to see you. Hello, hello everybody. Good, good. Who's down uh, there? Arta, <laughs> oh, now I'm seeing you. Where, where are you tuning in from? Artur? Oh, yeah, tuning in from uh, Poland, yep. Central Europe. Oh, from po where exactly? Uh, from Gdansk, the very north. Oh, very good. My parents were just there. I mean, you know, a while ago, not over the past six months, obviously. Okay, <laughs> now, before we find out who takes the trophy home in the category Best for Travel, let's also have a look at the finalists, at the final boats, and uh, followed by the jury statements brought to you by Eric Reis from where? Arto? Poland. <laughs> for travel category is the category for me. This year we have a very strong four finalists and to decide which one of them is the best for travel was really hard job. The finalists are Absolute Navetta 64, Beneto Monte Carlo 52, Sunrift 80 Power and Super Lauversmer 47 OC. All of them are built for travel. They're comfortable, uh, long distance boats. You can, with some of them, you can cross Atlantic. With some of them, you can cross all Europe on the inland waterways. They are comfortable. They are really well designed with many new features that you can use when you are a long time on a cruise. But the winner could be only one. Thank you very much, Arek, for sharing all this information with us and all the best to Poland. And uh, once again, it's your turn, Stefan. Which is the best boat for travel in 2020? Yeah, the winner can be only one. So I have to say at this point, um, and it's not just being nice, um, it's, it's the truth that every boat which is in that finalist competition is already a winner because <laughs> that's um, boats which are uh, which exceed our expectations. So it's uh, not we are looking for boats. And you can see that on the number of boats which we are nominating. Sometimes it's six, sometimes it's only two in one category, depending on what we regard as um, high and highest level. So, said that, um, I open that box. 
and announce the winner of the category of the Best of Votes Award 2020 in the category Best of Travel, which is the Absolute Navetta 64. Congrats! Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations to Absolute Yards, and here we have Cesare Mastroianni. Someone looks happy. Ah, uh, yes, a lot. I'm really happy. Really. <laughs> you actually seem surprised. <laughs> well, uh, well, this is always uh, an emotion to participate in an accolade <laughs> like this and win, by the way. Yeah. And uh, Cesare, there was actually, I have to tell you, there was one feature on the Nevada 64 that the entire test team simply loved. Take an educated I guess, which feature is it? I can guess it was the beach club uh, at the transom, I suppose. And uh, There you the go, they just loved it. And uh, yeah, I guess Daniel can tell us later about it. <laughs> 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 now anyway, Cesare, um, besides the bar, what else uh, would you say is like an absolute USP of the winning boat? Well, consider that the Navetta concept uh, was established a few years ago in order to create uh, boats that can fill uh, your home everywhere on the sea. You can travel everywhere and never feel away from home. We called the Navetta 64 project the absolute pathfinder because on board of these mm -hmm. you may wander everywhere uh, limitless. Mm -hmm. what, what exactly makes it so comfortable to travel? Well, we are managed to store in one piece of 64 feet four, master, four cabins and two are almost uh, master rooms and a crew separated and also the beach club. So basically you can host your guests, your family, you can put your toys in, you can have fun time during daytime or during evening, uh, cocktails, whatever you want. There is an incredible huge terrace on the flybridge that can be adjusted with different setups according to your needs and expectations. Thank you so much, Cesare. It was great having you. And once again, congratulations to Absolute Yachts. Thank you. Thank you, my pleasure. And all the best. Thank you. Thank you. It was our pleasure. If you guys could take the winning boat and just travel anywhere in the world now, which uh, may be possible, hopefully, in a few months from now, where would you go, Stefan? I'm not sure if the Navetta fits into the Havel River. Um, so. <laughs> So you would actually stay here, <laughs> locally? Uh, no, <laughs> no, I would go. I love to travel. I love to travel. As soon as we can, I'll, I'll be on a boat, and um, you don't see me until the end of the test next test season. So, no, um, I love them. I love them all, and uh, it's. Uh, there's some different concepts. So you asked me something different, which was where, where would, you, I want where to would go? you go? <laughs> How about Italy? Wait, yeah, we <laughs> simply wait, yeah. In fact, I don't mind where okay. to go. <laughs> Daniel, go. what about you? <laughs> First of all, I would go to the bar and look what's in the fridges. So okay, uh, yeah, that's the main point. from that, we go uh, to the destination where. But yeah. I reckon I would stay with this boat in the South Mediterranean Sea, have a cruise around to some nice harbors and uh, have a great time, I think. Well, it's a large boat. It's 64 foot. Would you take me along? Of course, we have four cabins, so see what's happened then. That's okay. Who will pick up? There's anyway. also the skipper cabin, so you can uh, can go there. Okay, all right. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, time is flying by, and that's where we're going to hit our last category for today, and that may even be my favorite category, and it's called Best for Fun. And at this time, which I also really like, the group of representatives from the uh, finalists is extremely international as they're joining us from Germany, Austria, France, Finland, Sweden, and also the Netherlands. How are you guys doing? Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Very good. Hello, everybody. Hello there. Every, everyone feeling good? Everyone excited to find out which is the best boat for fun in 2020? Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course. Yes. Just give me a thumbs Perfect. up. Okay, well, that looks good. And before it's Stefan's turn again, and before Stefan will let us know which is the best boat for fun in 2020, let's have a look at the finalists, followed also by the jury statements, this time brought to us by Alfred Boer from the Netherlands. Go, Alfred.
Nimbus T8 is a great boat which layout enables easy moving around. She performs very well and it's a multi-talented boat for day trips, overnights and weekends. Small enough to be affordable, big enough to please. The Sea Ray SLX Pro 100 is one of the biggest luxury bow rider models on the market today. It can be personalized in many ways, including the twin engine power. Versatile due to the possibility of simply extending the cockpit space. The Geno Cap Camarade 12.5 is stylish, luxurious and allows up to 900 horsepower at the stern, which boosts her top speed up to 45 knots. On the other hand, the spacious sun deck offers unlimited relaxing. Frausche 1212 Ghost is not the first Frausche to be nominated for a reason. It shows superior sailing properties, is well finished and the design is beautiful. Not cheap, but it represents an above average residual value. The Bavaria Vida 33 can be equipped with twin Mercury outboards up to 600 horsepower and is real fun to drive. Being available in both open and hardtop versions, this boat will fit always. Both Exopora 37 and high-end Brabus Shadow 900 are effortless and comfortable to drive in high seas. Both performance and efficiency are a benchmark to others. Thank you very much, Alfred, for sharing all this information with us. And by the way, nice shirt. I really like that. Now, nice Stefan, tell, tell us one last time, which boat is the best for fun in 2020? Want that shirt as well? Um, just tell yeah. me the size after the show and I get you one. Probably. Well, one. Uh, after the pandemic, probably XL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might, be the, that might be the point. So I have to say something before um, coming to, to the board given, just not to, to have a teaser. But the point is, um, the six brands which are nominated there represent so much um, boating industry and all the boats are so great. So that sometimes for us to remember, it's really difficult. Um, and we would uh, think about slicing that um, glass trophy into six pieces now, which would be nice, but um, think about it having a sixth piece of, a, of an award. So we stick to the, um, to, we stick to one and say the winner takes it all. And this is how we go. So, said this, I go and announce the winner in the last category of this year's Best of Boats Award 2020 in the category Best for Fun, which is the Nimbus T8 from Sweden. Oh! Woo! Congrats! Thank you. From the Thank you very much, everybody. That was a great honor. Yeah, and I could tell you feel relieved now, don't you? Yeah, for sure, I can say. I had a great fortune of <laughs> well, driving you, this you guys boat. have actually been on the show. Yeah, and you guys have been on the shortlist quite a few times before, and you've finally taken that trophy home. How does it feel? Finally, finally, yes. We okay. had a great opportunity now, um, to drive in this, this boat over okay. the summer, and now, it's great fun, I can promise you. I was just going to ask, now in your own words, what makes the entire Nimbus 8 series with its different models such a great success story? I mean, it is very flexible. We, we talk a lot of Scandinavian design with Nimbus, but it's a day boat, strong performance. It's full of functionality and well-considered solutions on the boat. And it rides with high mm -hmm. comfort, both if you go out cruising or if you stay overnight in the boat. So, so it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's really a perfect, compact, fun boat to drive. If, if you had to choose one biggest fun part of this T8, which would it be? Is it the speed? Is it the comfort? Is it the sun deck? Is it, what is it? I would say the so, social skills with the boat. Uh, when you drive it. When you drive it, <laughs> like when you enter up in the, in the, the social skills, yes. Thank you so much, Jonas. And once again, congratulations to Nimbus and of course the entire Nimbus team to Sweden. It was great having you. On behalf you. of the Nimbus team, thank you very much to all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You. Okay. Yeah, Daniel, you're the fun expert. Uh, as it says in the back, bold and fun. Bold so and did, did the jury make a good choice with the T8? Of course. Yeah. Like we're not bold, we are fun. So uh, it is a pleasure to be here and have this fun check and to see how the jury members did a great job. I miss them as well. I would like to have them around us, uh, hopefully next year as well. And um, all six boats are lots of fun, but 
as Stefan said, the winner takes it all. There's just one. Yeah. And I reckon it's the right one. Yeah. Oh, what do you and say? It, and it has social skills, as we heard. So that should yeah. be something which we put on our on our um, list. Um, a new category. No, no, not a category, but no. things which a boat has to um, has to have. Check social skills. Yeah. Now, Stefan, speaking of which, speaking of new categories, we actually had a sixth category last year, oh, which was it. best for future. Now, the big question is what happened to it? Uh, that was a success story, so to say, because uh, as we started that um, in the last year, for the first time, we had the Candela 7 Speedboat there from Sweden, which is a startup company. And I think we were triggering a bit uh, the success of that uh, concept, which of course would work. Itself, but we were the yeah. first ones to award it, I, I <coughs> think. And um, we saw the boat again on the Boat and Fun in Water uh, this summer in um, Verda. And yeah, it's, it's a lovable, lovable boat. And they found a new investor and uh, another investor. So that's a, a success story. And for this year, um, asking me where's the award, um, I can say we were had in that very special year um, a look at many very, very promising concepts, okay. but some of them were still in development. Some okay. um, are um, gain, let's say, um, traction um, in, in the next year. So I promise you we will have a super cool and um, best for future year um, 21. And um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Great. Uh, and, we take, and we take your word for that. Now, Daniel, uh, we talked about a bit about this year in the very beginning and how, like I said, you know, in March it just starting, started off very crazy, but hopefully now very soon things will bounce back to somehow normal. What are your biggest wishes for the future? What do you wish for in 2021? That everybody is health, healthy, I would say, but as we can start our business as well. Like I think the whole freight show industry or all the industry is like doing events, it's very on, on the ground. So. Um, we're looking forward to really to do events again, yeah. boat shows again. And I think it's so important that people meet, catch up and have a talk, have a chat. And maybe from that, like uh, Stefan said, so much getting out from that, so much input to the industry, input to the, uh, for the exhibitors and for the customers. And this yeah. is like, we're looking forward. This is my biggest wish to see everybody here in Berlin on the show and have a great time. Are you guys already getting ready for the next show in 21? Yeah. yeah? Even after an online show, it's after the show, it's uh, before the show. So we're getting our acts together. We're doing a strategy to get marketing and sales attribution for our dealers the whole year. We maybe have uh, another event in April, uh, both in front opening to start the season. And from that we do social media, stuff like that, having our great in water again, and then our main event here in Berlin. Yeah, Stefan, what are you looking for? when it comes to next year, 21, besides the, the future uh, category. <laughs> yeah, there's one thing which is, yeah, of course, the most important thing, um, which is that we are back on a boat show here. So go be live and um, yeah, that's the most important thing. There's um, one thing probably nobody really has uh, in mind in the moment, um, but since we have um, prob no, quite sure new politics in the United States, we will probably overcome that um, tariffs and trade war confrontation, so we will see more <coughs> American boats again in Europe. And of course, um, speaking of the bubble boat, we are in talks with some um, more uh, expert journalists to um, fill the gaps in the best of boat jury. So, um, but then it's then it's enough. But um, we will probably see new faces uh, next year. So I'm happy about that as well. That is great. So there's a lot to look forward to. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you very much, Stefan. And uh, you, well, Thomas. this pretty much brings us to the end of this year's Bob Awards 2020. We sincerely hope that you enjoyed the award ceremony, even though it was different than in previous years. But um, I think we saw some five very, very happy winners who are probably celebrating tonight, maybe at home, maybe with their family, maybe with their beloved ones. And uh, hopefully things will bounce back in 21 to somehow more normal and hopefully we will also see each other then in November 2021 here in Berlin. Thank you very much for joining. Have a beautiful time in the water. And most importantly, please stay healthy. Thank you very much.